Let's make guacamole. It's easy and anybody can make it. Here's the thing with guacamole. It takes literally five minutes. And I'm gonna tell you a secret that is not in any guacamole recipe, but I have made this guacamole for people from the DR, people from Colombia, people from Guatemala, and people from Mexico. And none of them use this ingredient, but they all think it's great. So trust me, it's not authentic, but it's really good. What you're gonna do is take a sharp knife and cut all the way around the avocado carefully. Then you're gonna twist the avocado open. Happens to be luckily a nice one, okay? And then if you watch Housewives of New York, you'll remember that this is how Carolyn met her boyfriend, Adam, who is inappropriately aged because he taught her this trick. You touch, you bang the knife into the seed and you pull it out. Here's another hospital moment, okay? So now, I forgot to get a spoon, but we're gonna do it with a fork, so here we go. You're just gonna go like this and scoop out the avocado, okay? Super easy, boom. You're gonna do that to all your avocados. So people, if you've never made it, you might say, why are there no tomatoes out on your prep tray? I don't like tomatoes in guacamole. I know it's traditional, but I don't know. This is on my bag. There's your guacamole, your nascent guacamole. I'm, see, this is too small a bowl, but it's okay. You're now gonna press down on your avocado pieces until they're kind of mashed. But don't worry, because you're gonna add liquid. And one of them is magic. You're gonna add some shallots, right? A Little bit. These are not so expertly cut by me, but will excuse me. Now I'm gonna add a little salt. Can you pass me one of those little tasting spoons that somebody, somebody goes, can you please not use those tasting spoons? I'm like, geez Louise. Anyway, I mean, you want me to stick my finger in it? Said the actress to the bishop. A little more salt. Okay, now, limes are hard. You know, they, they, they don't have, a, they don't make a lot of juice. You need one of those reamer things, which I just can't be bothered to go and get. So, I'm gonna squeeze in lime juice. Ah, now, that's a good lime. Now it's more liquid, okay? And it's gonna mix better. Two limes, beautiful. Aha, now it looks more like the restaurant, right? You're doing it, you're making guacamole. Okay, little pepper. Now, in terms of chips, if you make your own tortilla chips, you're out of my league. I don't know why you're even watching this show. I should be watching your show. These are good. You can get them on Fresh Direct. I like these, maybe because I like the bag. <laughs> I don't know. Ready for the secret ingredient? Guess what it is? <gasps> Vinegar! I discovered this because I didn't have limes one time, right? This is the amount, I'm telling you. That's it. That lime was unexpectedly juicy. Tasting. Mm. Oh, so good. Are you gonna serve it like that? No way. Wrap your finger around a piece of paper towel and go around the edge of your bowl. Catch the outside and give it a little messy top. We'll do a we'll do a whole episode about how to put the chips in the in the bowl, okay? But for now, I'll just do it quick. So you put the chips in the bowl like this, blah blah blah. Oh hi, you guys! Come on in. Uh, let's go cray cray for guacamole. If you make your own tortilla chips, you're out of my league. I don't know why you're even watching this show. I should be watching your show.